Well, welcome rugby fans. My name is Gareth Rees. I'm here on behalf of Rugby Canada. And as you'll see, we've decided to try and highlight some of the great rugby people from our community who are contributing to the COVID cause. We're calling them Honda heroes. Honda is a great partner of rugby, not only in our grassroots development, but in, in all our, our teams. They help us out to put our teams on the field. And they're working with us to recognize members of the rugby community who are out there every day with these strange challenges we've got with COVID. They're there fighting on the front lines for us. And uh, it's really a distinct pleasure today that we get to welcome a man originally from Pickering, Ontario. You remember him from wearing a, a red sevens and Canon 15s jersey, now a firefighter in Pickering, John Moonlight. Welcome on board, John. And congratulations on being a Honda hero. Oh, thanks, Gareth. I appreciate it. It's nice to see you again after all this time. Yeah, a lot of rugby fans have been missing you on the field, but uh, just fill us in. You're back in Pickering and you're uh, a firefighter with, with the Town of Pickering Fire Department. Yeah, so uh, after retirement there, two years ago from international rugby, I moved home, bought a house, and uh, shared a career with the Pickering Fire Department. Tried to kind of fit into normal life, I guess you'd say again. All grown up and, uh, and getting real for you. Yeah. But uh, let's refresh a bit on that career. Uh, impressive stuff. Um, you know, obviously a leader on the HSBC World 7 Series, 50 appearances, you know, a lifetime of achievement there. Um, we're nominated to the Dream Team, which for those fans who aren't aware, the HSBC Dream Team is the top seven rugby players in the world. And you were nominated to that, as well as setting numerous records for the sevens and the 15s team, a leader, um, just, uh, you know, a great servant to, to rugby. How do you package all that, all that, that time you spent on the circuit and all that time you spent representing Canada? It's, it's always hard to put that kind of stuff to, to words. It's such a special time. Anytime you get to pull on that Canadian jersey, I got to do it at some awesome places in front of, you know, 70 odd thousand people at the World Cup, 80,000 at Sevens in England and that. And it's an unreal feeling and it's uh, memories I'll cherish forever. The friendships I've made and all that stuff, uh, they'll always continue. I still talk to a lot of the guys. Well, you're a leader of those teams and uh, very much a part of the team dynamic. How does that translate to the work you're now asked to do uh, at Pickering Fire Department and, and particularly uh, in these strange times with COVID and the challenges you guys face? The beauty you see with the, the fire department, and that's why a lot of uh, rugby players are, are drawn to it, is that you're in that teamwork, uh, that cohesiveness. We work in groups of four on the fire trucks and at the fire grounds. We have between 16 to 20 odd people there and we're all working together and working towards that kind of common goal. And, that's the big thing that I've found that I absolutely love about it. And we're there for each other. So whether we're dealing with a, an accident where someone's hurt very badly or we're a house where someone's lost a lot of sessions, we're there for each other. We're helping each other through that because PTSD and that is real. We want to make sure we can help each other through all that stuff. Well, you, uh, you mentioned that you are a part of a, a team. How has the team, your firefighting team, had to adjust uh, with COVID and the concerns of not only protecting uh, the people you're serving, but also your own, your own team? Yeah, the uh, COVID has kind of thrown a curveball and everything for everyone. No one was expecting this. And uh, the big thing for us right now is making sure we're keeping safe and wearing the appropriate gear and we're there to still help the public. You know, uh, no matter if we're in a pandemic or everything is fine, we still have to be out there to help save people and help make sure that their houses don't burn down or anything like that. So we've got the appropriate gear we're putting on. We're making sure that uh, everyone can get through this together. Uh, we're such a big community in that, that we want to make sure that uh, we can help everyone, whether it's our community or anyone outside of it. Uh, we, we're there to help. Well, John, you know everyone here at Rugby Canada and, and rugby in general is very proud of you and, and how you stepped up and how you've moved on. We do wish sometimes you could pull on the red jersey again, but I think we're relieved, especially those in Pickering, that you're pulling on the, the fire gear and the boots and, and getting out there and helping everyone. So thank you very much, John. Well, well thanks, Gareth. I mean, uh, some days I feel like I could be out there with the guys, and then I look at the fitness <laughs> or running in that, and I remember it's quite nice to hop on my bike outside here instead. All right. Well, it is great to see you genuinely. And of course, uh, Honda, who have supported teams you've played on, John, over the years, and that support us to, to help grow the game in Canada. They're here with this whole series of Honda Heroes. And if you have someone in our rugby community who's out there on the front lines helping protect us during this pandemic, let us know. Contact us at media at rugby.ca. Let us know if you've got a, a champion and a hero just like John in your community. And uh, Johnny, great to see you. And uh, stay safe out there on the front lines. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Thanks a lot, Gareth. And thank you, Honda.